Hey guys, what's up? It's Kay Jones here, and today I'm gonna, going to be doing a guide for Iron Man on the Kraken boss. Now, I'm assuming that as an Iron Man, you're going to be wanting to go for your trident first. And because of that, I highly recommend that you kill the small cave Kraken, which I will be showing you. They have a 1 in 200 chance of dropping an uncharged trident versus the boss, which is a 1 in 512. So you have a, a better chance. You can also bring braces of slaughter so you can extend your task. So, first off, let's go over the basics. As an Iron Man, if you don't have a trident yet, which I'm assuming you don't, you're going to want to bring an Ivan's Blast or an Ivan's Staff. Uh, as you progress and get a trident, you may have a trident, a uh, toxic trident that you've upgraded through Zora. I don't suggest you use that because it uses a lot of scales, and it's just not worth it in my opinion. I use a regular trident of the seas. I don't find that extra venom or poison that effective and it takes a lot of time to get the scales. The next thing I recommend is to bring mage protective armor. So that means armado, carols, or dehyde. At this level at 87 slayer you should have carols so you can go ahead and put that on. I only have the armado chest plate. Actually I have three of them. <laughs> Haven't been too lucky on the skirt but yeah. And you're going to want a mage offense so go ahead and bring a tome of fire a mage book a mage cape is pretty good seer's ring eternal boots anything to give you that mage bonus you can see i've got iron arrows set in my inventory and a magic bow you'll see why you will need that so i highly recommend you bring some really cheap arrows and some kind of bow with you if you're wanting to do the boss you need 25k coins uh, to instance the boss, which I highly recommend if you're an Iron Man because most worlds are packed. Kraken is very popular. I'm going to go ahead and show you what food I bring. In this case, I really just bring monkfish and rock this out. Alright guys, as you can see, I also have an occult necklace and eternal boots. Anything that will help that magic bonus there. Alright, so the best way to get there is through Fairy Ring. I believe the fairy ring is, let's look it up. You can also run there, that's fine, but the best way is fairy ring. And that will be A-K-Q. -A so this is going to be the location and you're just going to run directly west to this dungeon. So uh, hopefully you have your fairy rings un unlocked. If you haven't though, uh, you can always just go ahead and go from Tree Gnome Village, you can uh, go from up, up north here and run down, it's completely up to you, but my preference is the Fairy Ring, and hopefully, like I said, by this level you are set on that. So it's AKQ, which is going to the, be the Piscatoris Hunter area, so let's go ahead and go there. First I'm going to be showing you the smaller Kraken, which is what you're going to be wanting to kill to get your first trident. So yeah, that Ivan's Blast is going to be really great for these guys. But yeah, the reason why you want range armor, because you want that magic defense. Uh, Kraken actually attacks with um, magic, so that gives you that protective gear. And usually Trident Ivan's is strong enough and has such a weak magic defense that you're able to hit through even with this kind of gear. So let's go ahead and show you. I like to bring a bow to start it off, because I don't like to waste my... Trident or Ivan's charges, and that's it. Boom, you just sit here and chill with your Ivan's Blast, and um, no, no prayer. Uh, Kraken is, uh, you, you can, it will hit through protection prayers, so there's no reason to do that. Something you can do is put on Mystic Might or Augury, so you can put a little bit more damage in on the boss or these little minions, but I don't recommend that. I don't think it's needed. But yeah, you can go ahead and kill these guys, and you know, they just drop some supplies. Uh, the little guys don't drop that great of supplies though, so I highly recommend once you've gotten your trident, you go over here to the big cave. It is always um, packed, so that's why I put it on private. Note that when you do do private, it costs 25k coins, and if you die, it is instant, so you lose everything that is tradable in this instance. So be aware of that. So first with this boss, no prayers unless you want to boost your magic with Mystic Might or Augury. Go ahead and wield your longbow or any kind of bow and you have those those cheap arrows with you. That's just to get this boss started. You're gonna hit these four pools on each side to wake up the boss. Once you do that, then you're going to attack the middle with your trident. 
And that's it, guys. Easy peasy. You're going to kill the boss like this. Try and uh, drop numerous good um, items such as sand fuse serums, which are fantastic for raiding. They also drop the Kraken Tentacle used to upgrade your trident or used to um, upgrade your whip for raids, which is great. However, you will lose your whip eventually. They also drop magic seeds, seaweeds, noted uncooked sharks. It's, it's just a great boss and amazing for money in general. And it is really good for Iron Man. However, it is a slow boss, that is for sure. I'm not very sure what my KC is on this boss, actually. It's been a while. Oh, go ahead and turn off your auto retaliate. We got 10 battle staffs, which is 85k. It is a money maker, that's for sure. So I'm, I'm on um, 1,454k uh, KC. So I'm moving on up there. I actually have skipped a ton of Kraken tasks because, like I said, it is a very slow boss to kill but it is a great money maker if you like this guy give it a thumbs up and please feel free to subscribe to my channel for my future videos um, also i have an iron woman series on my channel you're welcome to check out thanks so much guys and i hope you all have a great day